Hey guys, this is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy, and in this part two of a multi-part video series on Terraform, I'm going to talk about the top 10 interview questions you can expect if you're preparing for interview. And even if you're not preparing for interview, this is something you should be knowing to see where do you stand in your knowledge about Terraform. Now, if you missed my part one, I would highly recommend you to go and begin with part one, which covers Terraform what, why and how that will be helpful if you're a complete beginner and if you're already working don't worry then you can skip that but if you want to know more about there's a video that i've done on youtube which will talk about terraform one of um, what why and how of terraform that's on our k academy uh, page also if you want to do a reading version that's on my linkedin profile that you can go on understanding what why and how very short clips i think it's under few minutes of video there's a five minute or six minute video that i've covered now with that let's look at the top 10 interview questions now uh, this is one of the most common question always comes is hey tell me about yourself and when the, this question comes then you should always uh, keep it to the point brief not too long not too short but put that answer in the context of terraform book because interviewer is expecting you to say in the context of terraform and you can also look at when you look at the job description what the job description says and around that what we work you have done with respect to the uh, to to uh, the ter what work you've done with respect to what they're looking for um so i think um i'm going to i'm not going to repeat what's written there i'm probably in the place where you're watching this i'll put the link of pointing to our k academy blog which will have more in depth you can read it there but make sure that um, it's not too negative not too center of focus on yourself but more on what work you have done with respect to that particular thing uh, so you this is an example about uh, that based on let's suppose your five years experience ten years experience put that and say about a little bit about devops uh, say I'm, I'm working as a devops team or whatever team you're working put in the context of terraform again uh, as well so what work you have done with respect to terraform i keep repeating that so for example if you've done on cloud on premise using terraform what work you've done what are the common things uh, so, so just just read about on this uh, as here pause this video and read a little bit more about if you're looking but very important because you can always expect this question or somehow or other you can take your uh, interviewer towards that direction now, uh, you need to also prepare for both technical and non-technical. I'm going to give a high-level overview of 10 uh, questions which we see a lot of our students come across or mentees that I come across, they come and talk to us. Or I interview when I interview uh, like other guys for um, I'm on an interview panel of a lot of companies where we keep more or less similar type of things. So for example, um, again, these will be contextual. If you have not worked on AWS, maybe put on um, different flavors. For example, let's suppose you you say that I've worked on so-and-so. Uh, so then we, I can ask and say, hey, walk me through the entire process of using that particular uh, or building that particular infrastructure using Terraform. So just give them a, um, whatever, wherever you want to lead them, you can answer them. Uh, take them as well. So this is an example of uh, first question, for example, EC2 is an example, but this is just an example. It could be, for example, you're saying you build a Kubernetes cluster. The question might be what modules you have used um, because there are concept of modules. I think we're going to cover that um, in subsequent videos about what is a module, what is a provider, what is a uh, lot of other things, uh, the code which you write, how do you connect and so on. So module is very important um, depending on whether you've created AKS, EKS and so on. Now, other thing you might expect is sensitive information because everyone wants to know about sensitive information like passwords, how do you handle them, API keys. So there is a specific way to handle them. And in subsequent videos, as part of this multi-part video series, we'll talk about them as well. Now, another thing which is like troubleshooting configuration management is suppose a Terraform configuration is working per perfectly fine yesterday, but today it's failing. What step will you take to troubleshoot? So then there's a methodical approach, which I think I've covered inside the answers, which I'll share as well, how you can get hold of these answers as well. So give them a methodological approach on troubleshooting this very, very important. You should know how the Terraform works behind the scene to answer that question. Now, uh, Terraform offers another question might be Terraform provides different cloud platforms. How would you manage a scenario where you need to deploy resources across 
AWS and Azure multiple clouds simultaneously. Again, this may be applicable if your job requirement says, hey, it's a multi-cloud environment or you're deploying using Terraform for on-premise and cloud and so on, which is quite common as well. Now, uh, another one is that how do you ensure that Terraform configuration you wrote confirmed to the best practice and the company standard? Or before that question might be, oh, tell me what the best practices of Terraform you'll be following if you're working in a team. And then, um, so, so, and this probably is another version of question. How do you ensure that these things, these best practices are, are, are adhered to in the team? So make sure you know and understand what are the best practices following um, uh, in, in, in Terraform implementations. So question might be, um, uh, or, or for example, state file. If you're working in, with multiple teams, where do you store state file? That question might already be coming just, oh yeah, that's another one. So let's talk about remote state management. What options does Terraform provide and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using remote files as well? It's always good to have remote file, but, but there might be some disadvantages as well. What are those as well might be? Or where do you store these uh, state file in your in your in your project? Now, for that, you need to know what is st uh, state file is. Again, um, I'm going to cover that in subsequent videos if you're not sure about it. But things you need to go a little bit deeper. Now, another question might be: uh, You're working in a team, which is quite common, and the problems happen when you work in a team. If you're working as a single person, uh, things become, um, things might be a lot more straightforward, but in real world, you never work as a single team. So if you're working as a developer um, uh, with different development teams and someone accidentally modifying the Terraform state file, first of all, you shouldn't be touching murder file. There is a process of modifying the state file and state file becomes very, very crucial. So how do you do the right way of, if someone have done it, how will you fix that problem? Again, very important. Now, also there's a Terraform cloud. It depends now, this question might depend if customer is using Terraform cloud. Um, so, and they won't, maybe they're planning to use Terraform cloud. So maybe learn a little bit about what the Terraform cloud does. How do you, what are the advantages and disadvantages of those things? Never talk, just advantage, mix of what are the pros and cons of each implementation. So talk about that as well. Now. Uh, there's a concept of Terraform modules, as I briefly hinted you earlier. We'll talk about those modules later in subsequent uh, part of these videos, subsequent part of this video series. But uh, how do you manage those Terraform um, dependencies between Terraform modules? So let's suppose you have a module of EKS that has a pointing to a different module. You can build your own custom modules. There are predefined modules available. So how do you manage those dependencies um, also give some examples so you probably might be familiar with these concepts as well um, now another one might be and this is just i've given you a top 10 there might be more and these are more scenario based questions you should be expecting uh, as well so in some cases you may provide uh, provision infrastructure conditionally based on a certain variable or output so for example if this if you get a or maybe you are creating a virtual machine that gives you a, a, an IP and based on that IP, you need to provision something else. Or if output is something this, do that on conditionally, how did you handle that? So how do you handle such dynamic behavior in Terraform? Again, this is a little bit more advanced topic, which we'll be covering in subsequent videos. So I hope this makes sense. Now for answers, if you're part of my email series, if you're registered at part of one, or there should be something somewhere, if you can't find it, let me know. I'm going to put this uh, video on our blog as well. Uh, so the link to this in, in will should be in a description uh, section, but if you can't find it, just leave a comment and my team will be happy to share that link include so that you can get these um, answers i don't know how to find this or how to do it because in email i can quickly click on this hopefully this should be working uh, on yeah so this is the answers which i'll be probably um, available and we might change these links might change so be careful in terms of what an explanation of each of these for example um, uh, l let's take one example of um, how do you handle Terraform configuration route confirms to the best practices? So best practices, code review, uh, Terraform linters, reusable modules, version control, security audit. These are some of the things you do. Uh, so these are some examples of uh, how do you uh, manage dependencies between Terraform module and so on. So these are the answers, all the guides as well. So um, link should be somewhere here. Uh, these might change in future because we constantly update these guides. Uh, so have a look at that. Um, leave, leave me a comment if you need information. And by the way, if you're watching it before 18th of August, I'm doing a two days of series on 18th and 19th on 
uh, talking about uh, some of the common use cases, everything about Terraform in terms of Terraform workflow, uh, use cases. I'm going to bring an expert talking about uh, what all things you should be learning, some everything which I have I'm covering into this video series in a concise manner within probably one or two hours, one hour per day, I'm hoping. If it needs more time, we'll do that as well. So join that. We'll be giving also a demo and we'll be giving step-by-step -step hands on give videos and guides which will quick start your journey in Terraform if you're a complete beginner or take to the next level if you're ahead. So register for this free class. Again, link should be on the chat window. I think it should be Terraform02 if I'm not wrong. I think ketonacademy.com forward slash Terraform02. If you're watching this in future, we might do some sessions in future as well. So keep an eye on. We might have some more sessions. So uh, with that, Next video is also going to be all about common objections people face while learning Terraform or what they say, I can't learn it or I have this issue or that issue or that this thing before we start actually delving you and going into deep on each of these topics which I've covered on day one to X as well. Um, so with that, this is Atul from Team Ketone Academy. Keep an eye on um, your next video. And by the way, let me know the feedback on what we can do to improve. Was it quick? fast or you want to add more information uh, and so on because i wanted to keep them under 10 minutes if it's gone again 11 minutes initially estimate was five minutes and extend to 10 minutes i want to keep them short quick to the point as well um, only as well um, so let me know give me the feedback so that i can next iteration of these videos i can do and improve based on the feedback that you give me if you're enjoying and don't forget to share it with your friends if you're watching this on youtube do subscribe and and if you're watching on linkedin do share it with your friends and colleagues with that atul from team k academy i'll see you in part three of this multi-part terraform video series take care and bye for now